Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me, uh, Idea, and here's Yuma, of course. We climbed all those, st those stairs to get a view of this beautiful city. That's Twin Peaks up there, right there. Uh, look at all those houses. I'm gonna go down a little bit more, and then there's there's more houses on that side. I could not just live, leave this. I, who knows when I'll be here? I've been here for like freaking 20 years almost. And this is like the second time I've ever been up here. Well, people live up here, so I don't bother them. But uh, yeah, that's one part of the city. Uh, Corona Heights is on this side. You can see part of it. But um, I just thought I'd show you this. Here we go. We're gonna go on somewhere. And we're gonna just carry the Yuma's uh so curious about the houses. So she's been uh, try to go in people's yards. Sorry for the carrying the camera and stuff. Okay, this is awesome. They got really nice trees up here. And their houses are really, really nice. It's like, I should be seeing a uh, eagle flying in the air or something. Wow. Whoa. I'm telling you, this place is like, I don't know. Just too gorgeous. And I'm carrying a camera, so. You just curve and curve. Liberty and Sanchez. It looks like it just goes up and up. does just go up and up. Can you imagine living in one of these houses? Jeez. <laughs> I was walking by, I was walking by the, um, one of these places and the, on the, on the, on the ledge. Wait, wait, I wanna see what's over there. I'm so curious, I, mean, I haven't really been around this area before, but I don't wanna disturb people because it's, uh, it's a residential area. You know what I mean? But there's public sidewalks, so that's what I'm... Liberty. And Sanchez. And they got a big old crane right there. I can't get, on, get enough of this like beautiful view. It's like, it's just amazing. I can't believe that I haven't really Seen a lot of those trees over there. <laughs> okay, let's go back to say. Wow. Am I supposed to go this way or this way? Come on, let's go this way. I wanted you to see the city on this side. Okay. Still flattening the curve together. Uh, am I weird or something? Because I don't get it. <laughs> flattening the curve. Oh, flattening the curve. I get it, I think. Flattening the curve. Damn, there's that current crane. They probably had to bring that in piece by piece. But it also looks like it falls down. Wow. I should be nosy and go ask them what they're, what they're using it for. <laughs> what, what, what are you using that for? 
What's that? What is that? What are you lifting? <laughs> look, there's some stairs over there too. Wow, look, look. Isn't that something? I didn't take it. Ah. Okay, let's go here. I'm so nosy, I'm sorry. <laughs> what is it, Stan? That crane is awesome. Wow, <laughs> I'm amazed. Okay, so, yeah, I wanted to show you the city on this side, but I couldn't get a good uh, outlet to, without intruding on somebody's uh, yard, and I don't want to do that, you know? Because people's, hu people's uh, place of home is their home, and they don't need some American guy and his dog uh, wanting to see the city from their yard. Although I will say that they have been kind enough to um, to invite me to look at the deck uh, at a deck um, that was um, occupied at that moment, so I can I can go uh, couldn't check it out. Yeah, so, but I'm sure that uh, they probably would not mind if I ask them what I can't get a trip, uh, because <laughs> I'm uh, still in disbelief at how beautiful these houses are. And here we are. This. <laughs> I just did a whole big old circle. It's funny. This comes out. Guess where it comes out at? <laughs> it comes out at the top of, at the top of the Lord's Park. <laughs> what a trip. I laugh because, oh, thank you. It goes up some more. <laughs> and then there's, I've been down that track uh, in the, at nighttime. Uh, and then there's that, uh, there's the track for the J train like I was telling you about earlier. And here we go. It looks like it's still the same. Except we're over here this time. <laughs> we didn't get anywhere. Most of the dog people went home. Alright, this time we're just gonna go straight down. Okay. 
ちゃうちゃうちゃう。ひゅう。ゆめてきさんは。てきさん、I'm invisible. So, yeah, pulls me everywhere sometimes. But he's good. He's a good doggy, though. There's the playground that I was telling you about. Ah, look at the doggy. <laughs> She's, the doggy's not too because you have to go take a bath, you know? Come on. <laughs> Sorry, you know. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, doggy. <laughs> This is the gravity was pulling me down at the same time I was hanging on to his leash. Hi! Look how nice, how pretty that dog is. Come on. Let me see. Your leash with. Okay, come on. You can't change You, uh. Well, you can't change your mind. Okay, we're gonna try to leave this uh, park again. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking this. Um, it would be a challenge, I guess, to uh, stay in a park that your friend or friends chooses for you and then they tell you to stay in the park all day, like a whole day. Um, and there's plenty to do at the park, but I wonder if I would lose my uh, mm, what do you call it when you get bored? Well, you can get bored. Cause it, I, I've been around this park for like three or four times this morning. About three, or four, about three or four, yeah. And I sat here. I sat there. I sat over there, and then I sat back over here, so, I don't know, and then people come and come in, go through as well, so, I kind of wonder what I would be doing throughout the day at a park. If you bring your friend, then of course you can go back and forth, or bring a skateboard, you can go skateboarding. That work. And you bring your friends, of course, you have your friends. Um, and that's about it. Wow, that's a nice dog. Look at that dog. That's a really nice dog. Your dog is really cool. Thank you. Here. Get out of the. Ah, ah. Come on. He's, so far, he's met like maybe, I'd say 10, 10, 11, 12 dogs today. No, just 10 dogs today. Okay, so we left the park and we started. Oh, so frustrating. Okay, so uh, we left the park. And then uh, we ended up going all the way around this this high school, and then coming back up again, all the way up that side, and then showing back up on this side. So I'm gonna just go the direct route and walk out by Dolores Park until I see you again. Court here for uh, like roller hockey and things like that. And I was just at the capture too. Just, uh, that's how I got all the way up there at the top. I have a basketball court right here. And then this is the original J train right here. And 
park circles around this way. Okay, here we go. And that's Castro. So this must be where the bike, uh, the bus uh, picks up. Yeah, the J, J train picks up here. It's not the train, the J bus picks up here is what I meant to say. And then this is Mission High School right here. You want? <laughs> don't eat it, don't eat it, don't eat it. <laughs> he, he's, he's so annoying because he, he makes me stop. And he makes me stop to uh, stop the rope. And he does it so abruptly. And then uh, when I find out why he stopped it, it's because he wanted to pick up something to eat. And he's, this last time, uh, right, right when he pulls on me, where I was walking to, he, he was adamant about it. So, so I was like, I had to be a little, come on, come on, come on. I don't know. Oh, look, I want to get one of those right there. That would be really, 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 really cool. I totally want one of these. And then there's Mission High School. Oh, shit. Mission High School, Mission High School. Just uh, walking. I don't know. I thought I'd, I'd... I gotta stop saying I don't know. And then... There is... A school. It's uh... I think it's grade school level or junior high. One of the two. Go ahead. Right. Morning Dew Cafe on Church and 17th. Followed by Pizza Dew. Morning Dew and Pizza Dew. They look really, really nice and clean inside. And the staff just smiled at me, so that was cool. So that would be Church and 17th. Pizza do and morning do. I just thought I plugged them since uh, since I'm in the area. San Francisco local businesses. At nighttime, in the past, there were groups of people that would sleep in that uh, part right there, and uh, to stay out of the rain and the wind. And they would just stay there. And then before school, ooh, are you okay? Are you okay? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, oh, uh, you want, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. All right. That looked like it hurt. Okay, that was uh, unfortunate. Oh shit, I gotta do this. The poor guy fell, fell right in front of me into a, a flower bed that was unoccupied by flowers. So he fell pretty badly and I felt really bad for him. I, I wanted to run over there and when I had my phone in my hand and Yuma was in my other hand and I was trying to uh, keep the phone uh, as a stable for myself for the whole uh, thing. Okay, I think it's about time that I just go ahead and um, end this video. I just wanted to show you what was at the top of Top of the top of <laughs> Wait, don't pull me. You want to call Ali? Stop. <laughs> I get all, I get all, what do you call it? It's, it's, I guess it's scared. It's not scared. I get 
nervous or because he pulls at me and then it makes me go so much faster and when I'm going downhill I'm going fast enough already I think and uh, Yuma <laughs> he, he gets me all excited whenever he pulls at, pulls at me when I was homeless we used to stay like right here too just like wherever we could and right now there are there are tents here and there are some on this side in front of the churches so that's pretty cool that um that the house of God uh, welcomes I guess or provides some sort of sanctuary for the homeless. We used to sleep on the, um, I should go over there and say hi. But I gotta go to a meeting right now, so. Uh, maybe when I come back. Come on. Maybe I could uh, bring some weed next time. This is awesome right here too. Big old, uh, it's like a wide, wide, wide street. Yuma, please try this. I gotta try to get him to stay on one side, which is probably supposed to be on my left side, because it, um, I'm, I find myself switching hands a lot. And if, if somebody, okay, there's a lot that I can tell you about uh, what people and, uh, okay, so say that, say for example, somebody, uh, an unknown person, knows that your hands are full and knows how to, uh, knows that your littlest movements are, are, uh, are gonna get tied up and it's gonna make it so much harder to uh, carry stuff. And uh, something that is smart and uh, knows that can manipulate which way you want something or try to get the camera to stop uh, stop recording. I don't know if, if I made sense with that, but something that, uh, that manipulates gravity, I guess gravity uh, knows my movements and sees from my eyes. Uh, and uses that um, sort of in a bad way. And the sad part is that I can tell anybody, anybody, I can say somebody is uh, manipulating me and they're causing me to drop things and hold all kinds of stuff and not a person on this earth will or can understand what I'm talking about because I'm the only one uh, that is going through it. Well, that would bring up a uh, a question to maybe one person that I asked or told, and he didn't believe me. Uh, he asked me, um, "Well, could it be that?" a part of your brain or maybe your body is, has a mind of its own and is, um, and maybe is trying to dominate your, uh, your body. So that would be, I would answer that subconscious. That's probably my subconscious. Okay, so 
as I understand it, the subconscious isn't a brain on its own, but I'm, it's just, it's a part of the brain. And it doesn't make decisions or know how to manipulate things. I think, I'm not sure. But anyways, I'm not gonna talk about that no more. It's, uh, it's, it's too hard to explain, it's too hard to, uh, too difficult to, to uh, prove to anyone. Anyway, and it's really uh, sad because I feel like, I feel like my, uh, my own brain is manipulating me to, Deroxy is manipulating my movements and causing me to uh, turn off the camera, turn it off or do negative things to my life. It's like my, it became my own enemy, which is sad because I argue with it, these aware voices, all the time. And I started out my day today pretty upset because, because of them. They never shut up and they wa always want to tell me what to do. Uh, and they use religion as a background. Okay, so there we go, there it is. I told somebody, I told YouTube again uh, about these voices or and this uh, manipulation of my brain or whatever it is. It's not like anybody could help anyway that I know of. I mean, unless there was some kind of scientist or brain, brain person that could help me uh, gain control of my, my subconscious. In any case, that's how crazy I am. There's Pancho Villa. I love Pancho Villa. Pancho Villa has dollar, dollar tacos on every day. Dollar tacos every day from two or three to five. So you get delicious hot tacos every day. <laughs> and then, oh, they have um, juice for a dollar too. That's Pancho Villa. Okay, so I'm, I'm here in my appointment. Here, let me flip this over. <laughs> From me and Yuma, thanks for listening to me. Thanks for being my friend. Thanks for checking out my video. Uh, bye.